Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel, it's Mossy. Today, I'm super excited to show you how to create beautiful aesthetic journal or planner templates using Canva. Whether you want to personalize your own journal or share printable templates, Canva is the perfect tool for creating stunning designs. So grab your iPad, and let's start. Step 1. Creating a Canva account. First things first, let's set up your Canva account so we can start designing amazing templates together. Open the Canva app on your iPad or download it from the App Store if you haven't already. Sign in or create a new account, it's super quick and easy. Step 2. Choosing the perfect template. Once you're logged in, let's find the perfect template to bring your journal or planner to life. Tap on Create a Design and explore the vast template options in Canva. Whether you prefer weekly, monthly, or themed layouts, there's something for everyone. Step 3. Creating your document. Now that we've chosen our template, it's time to create our document. Tap on Create New Design and select the appropriate size for your journal or planner. You can even customize the dimensions to match your desired style and dimensions. Step 4. Selecting backgrounds and textures. Let's add some style to our design. Tap on the backgrounds tab and explore Canva's library of textures and backgrounds. Scroll through, find one that speaks to your aesthetic, and simply tap to apply it to your canvas. I want to start with a plain colored background so that's what I'll be doing with this pretty green. Step 5. Adding cute headers and texts. Now it's time to make your journal or planner pop with beautiful headers and texts. Tap on the text tab and choose a cute font that matches your style. Type in your headers or titles, adjust the font size, color, and alignment to perfection. Step 6. Fun elements and stickers. This is the main thing. Let's sprinkle some magic onto our templates with adorable elements and stickers. Tap on the elements tab and browse through the keyboard to find the cutest icons, illustrations, and stickers. You can either use keywords or codes to find on theme stickers. You can also change the colors of most of these stickers. I'm currently using the free version. But if you want more options, you can buy the pro version as well. You can add a daily checklist on the side, just to keep a track of the things you need to do, and have tiny boxes you can check off when you're done. I also like to add a box counting down the days to the end of the year, you can either pre-fill it or leave it empty till you're starting the journal. Similarly, you can fill in the dates now, or leave it empty and do the dates when you actually start using the journal. 
For me, personally, I like to fill everything out beforehand because there are days I don't journal simply because I'm too lazy to plan out the page. You can also add as many stickers as you like. I also, only keep one page per day. But if you're someone who writes a lot you might want to leave multiple pages per day. Some theme ideas include a retro theme, maybe something nostalgic like the 80s or 90s. You could also have something colorful or whimsy, or even have a scrapbook kind of look. You can add a countdown as well, it's just something fun, for example, a countdown to the end of the year or even a countdown to a specific event, like birthdays, that you can change as the event turns up. This page is very 80s and 90s inspired, specifically the pixelated arcade games, like I said before, the themes are endless, and you can have multiple themes throughout the journal, if you don't want to stick to a single theme, as it can get kind of boring. If you want to find nice stickers easily, and need the codes, simply comment below, and I'll make sure to include them in the video description. Here's all the pages from August to December that I made off screen. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to create aesthetic journal and planner templates on Canva. If you're interested in exporting your designs to use them in apps like GoodNotes or other journaling apps, drop a comment below, and I'll be happy to make a video about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!